morning guys. Day five in Dumaguete. Walking back to our room to go get sun protection. So we're about to go scuba diving. If you've ever put on a wetsuit, you'll also know it's like a hot suit. It makes you sweat so much because there's like basically complete insulation. There's no breathing. Right now I'm walking across the resort in like 35 degree weather. It's getting hot. All aboard the Victoria. We're doing our first dive of the day. We're gonna look for some sea turtles, some slugs. Apparently there's a lot of slugs here. Some tuna. What else was there? Barracuda. Barracuda. Reef fish is called Antias. Jackfish. Great white sharks. Great white sharks. Yeah, I gotta watch out for those ones. <laughs> we'll see what we got. And we have the underwater camera, so hopefully I get some good footage down there. You actually want to put soap inside of your goggles. It helps prevent them from fogging up when you go underwater. Sometimes when you go further down, the goggles start to get all blurry from, uh, I guess, moisture getting in. And in order to clear the goggles, you actually have to use your respirator. You exhale enough air that it pushes all the water out, and then you put your goggles back on. But it's not a very fun process, so best to use some soap and hope that it never fogs up. Um, our dive time for today is either one hour or before our oxygen runs out. Wetsuit check. Booties check. If you call these flippers, you'll make dive masters angry. They're called fins. Fins? Are they called fins? Fins. Yeah, I call them flippers. And also, if you call this a goggle, they'll also get angry. That's for swimming. These are masks. I am by no means a dive master, but this is probably my 10th dive. I'm very much a noob. I have my BCD on. I'm ready to go. Which? First dive, we saw a sea turtle, a sea snake, we saw all sorts of snails. We were down there for about an hour and we're gonna do one more dive today. Um, might do a half dive just because my ears are starting to get a bit more sensitive because of the pressure. And yeah, this is life here at Atmosphere Resort. Roddy's asleep. It's actually really tiring after being down there for so long. I don't know if it's like the oxygen in a tank or whatever, but like after a scuba dive, you get really tired. I don't imagine how people do four in a day. My favorite part of the last dive was definitely the rock face because it gave you perspective of just how big the ocean is and how small you are. I mean, it was just like all of a sudden you got to this lip and you're probably like, oh, you're already like seven meters underwater and then you just see the water, like it just drops further than you can even see. Diving. Thank you. If we're done with the Time for dive number two in a location that's literally like 15 feet away from the last. Thank <laughs> you. 
number two. Not as good as the first time, but a really good dive. Uh, we saw a massive sea snake, and sea snakes are actually extremely poisonous, but unless you like go and grab it, it won't bite you. When we were in El Nido last time, they told us if we got bit by a sea snake, they would literally have to get a helicopter to take you to Manila, because it's like so, so venomous. But uh, no bites, and we saw a couple more sea turtles. We're heading back to the resort. We're gonna edit, We're gonna relax. I don't know, get some good food. expected all right we are back at the resort look at the clouds back there so our underwater dive camera had like the world's shittiest memory card put inside of it and you know how there's like that little knob on the side it's like a protect or a write so you can actually have it set so that there's no writing on the card and so that it's open for writing anyways that switch thing fell out of the memory card and I think it's in the lock position, so we might not even be able to get those files. If you saw the files, then we obviously figured it out, but... Life lesson of the day, memory cards are not things you cheap out on, ever. Just spent the last hour filming people on the resort, and so I'm actually creating a video called Smile, and so Smile is exactly as it sounds. It's a video of the employees of Atmosphere Smiling. And that's one of the things they pride themselves on is like exceptional service and I mean I've seen it firsthand but I'm creating the video that's going to show people on Facebook, YouTube, wherever they come across the Atmosphere video that Atmosphere is a place where you will receive a smile with every interaction with the employees. And my GH4 is just killing it. Every shot I take with my GH4 just pulls out so much personality, so much emotion. So it's going to turn out really well. I'll give you guys the link to check it out when it's all said and done. And tomorrow's actually Ronnie's last full day here in Dumaguete. After that, he's going to Korea. Which is unfortunate because if you guys remember when we arrived in Bangkok, he actually only bought his entry ticket into the Philippines. And so he had to buy his exit ticket right on spot. And he didn't have time to make plans, so he bought his to Korea. He's now realizing he'd love to have another week in the Philippines, but he's already paid for a ticket, so it wouldn't make sense. And for me, I've got two more days in Dumaguete. And then I'm going to meet Laura in Manila. Happy hour! <laughs> Alright, we just got ready. Ronnie and I are heading out. We're going to be hanging out with the Atmosphere staff tonight. We're going to go to Dumaguete, the city we were in on Wednesday. And we're going to go out, get some dinner, have some drinks, and that's the game plan. Just drinking rum outside of a gas station. This is the life. We're at a gas station. This is Little Rico. This is Ronnie. Yeah, I didn't mean to cut you off. Go on. <laughs> Gas station with alcohol. A little bit, yeah, I like it. Next stop, Hi Haya. Phase two. Why not? <laughs> Can I do mine? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so tonight's the full moon, but it's like way behind all these clouds. We have arrived at Hi Hi, one of the big bars in Dumaguete, and they have beer pong. Let me in there. Let's do that. Rica. You guys come to Dumaguete, come to Hai Ai. It's actually a really good time. And this beer here is 50 pesos. Mine didn't get that big. Okay, do it again. Again? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, you can do it. Ah! Let's go back to where entries were sworn. 